Thank you for stopping by. Welcome. Today is tag series day. First a little show and tell. I hope this doesn't take too long, but there's a lot on the table. Um, okay. Craft show. <laughs> These are some little tag ephemera holders. I am going to do a separate video post and um, I'll put the link where I learned how to make them. Now this first one is my my spin on her inspiration but I'm going to um, put the video anyway in case you want to buy the dye that she used. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six tags. And I just modified an envelope. But she had a pocket die, um, a book fold pocket die. And I really didn't feel like buying another die, so I liked the idea, so I just modified it. And I think her name was Crafting by Paula, but I'm not sure. But I will do a video post of how to make these, and um, it will be its own. It will be its own blog post. But this is another little tag ephemera book, accordion style, and uh, hers were Christmas themed, but. I just used some leftover Stamperia paper that I had and uh, there's two, four, six tags and then some tiny, tiny tags in here and some little stickers to write the name on the back of the tag because these are back and front. So I thought those were very cute. And I did two, and this one is actually a recycled paper. And it holds um, two, four, seven tags. And in this pocket, I made some stickers. This is this paper isn't as nice as the other one, so I'm probably going to put this at a lower price. But anyway, I thought the books were cute. So I wanted to try it. So um, next up, I went to Goodwill yesterday. And Grandma must have quit crafting because I walked out with how many? One, two, three, four. There might be two in there. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight packs of stamps. Lovely. I'm disappointed in this one. It's a full, full stamp. I thought they were all separate, but they're not. I can cut it up, but I don't think I'm going to. But I have seen this before. Heidi Swap. I've seen this on Amazon. I believe. But this one is confusing me. And if you can help me, if I'm mistaken, <laughs> I thought it was a stamp. I don't have my samples here. I don't know where they went. Maybe they're here in my trash. Anyway, I got it to turn out, but it's sticky on both sides. That kind of makes no sense. So maybe it's something, and I'm just not aware of what it is. 
but to me it looked like another stamp set. And it was with all the others, but I don't know. I thought it was a little label set. That's why I picked it up. But I did manage to stamp with it. I tried, thought, well, maybe it's just one side and I can wipe it off. I don't know. Maybe it's something for scrapbooking or something. I just have no idea. So if you know why two sides of a little sticker type set would be supposed to be sticky and so flimsy, if it's a stamp, let me know what this is. Okay, so that was cool. I went to a antique mall. And two of the, it was 32,000 square feet. And two of the things I got were these little typesetter blocks that are metal. Um, my husband's father used to be a typesetter. So whenever I see these, <laughs> I, fall, I, I fall in love with typesetting blocks. Um, and they make really cool stamps too. This one says Buick and this one says um, in your chastity pray for the repose of the soul of and it has a crown and a cross. So I, I just you know it had an actual not all of them had a design so I wanted one that wasn't just text. So I got those two, and I, I bought a chair, and I bought some other ephemera. It was amazing. Beautiful, beautiful town. And I, it's been there for 24 years, and I had no idea. But I actually saw it in one of those travel books. And um, next time it rains, um, I'm going back there for a photo shoot because I realized... There's so much pretty architecture here. I've had this idea in my mind for photos, but I want it to be a rainy day and I have to have nice architecture. So I'm going to do that, but it was a lovely day in that 32,000 square feet. So many books and so much stuff, beautiful buttons, um, jewelry, everything. So that was a nice day. Okay, we're going on to notes. Cindy M, thanks for the tip, who taught me how to make a tear roller with using plastic rollers. And that is in um, the labels where you don't need a stamp to make your own labels just find something with a shape the bottom of a bottle whatever get some juicy ink and you can make your own labels but that's in there Cindy M again thank you I went outside and started yesterday actually you distress the edge of a plastic roller along cement or something like that and I began it, but it's a very subtle tear, so I have to go out and try it again. Maybe with a stiffer roller, because this roller is very flexible. Okay, Hobby Lobby tip. I got my punch. Let me see here. Got my new punch. I went up there because I saw it on sale online and it wasn't on sale in the store. If that happens to you, track someone down and make them look it up online and you will get the online price. That's what I did. I was like, okay, why is it on sale online but not in the store? <laughs> and then, of course, we looked it up. I wasn't mistaken. And um, she honored the online price. 
if you hear the phone, excuse me. We've been getting robocalls for 24 hours now, and it's driving me crazy. So, um, if you are so inclined, hop over to Journal Me Crazy, Candace. Um, her husband passed away. It's very, very, very sad what she's been going through. So hop on over there and support her channel. She had had not been on for a few weeks, and um, and then he passed away, and it's uh, she's slowly getting back into it. I hope, but um, I hope it helps her heal her heart. So send her some support. Okay, um, I think that's it. And how much time did that take? Ten minutes. Okay, good thing I got a little bit of a head start here. So today's tag series. I was just going to do one. And then I saw another one that was uh, kind of similar by Crafty by Tony. So then I thought, well, I'm going to add that because it's kind of similar and why break up the series with a separate style. Okay, so my idea is to put your specimen at the top because sometimes I just get so tired of standard tag toppers that I wanted to do something else at the top. And then I saw hers, which was actually more like a specimen, and it's similar. So that's what we're going to do today. And if I don't get time to um, embellish or anything, you can embellish however you want. And I just chose some um, plant seed catalog paper and chose that and then put a flower in the center. One you can write on and one is you can't. But she had um, rivets and she has hers on a chain and she had brads in these little holes but I kind of just liked it with little holes. So this is my inspiration from her piece, but I'm going to put a link so you can see hers, which was more a more traditionally done specimen card tag. Okay, so let's get started. And then I just made another little one because I needed more for the photo. But you do not need a tag punch to do this. You can do this style on this type of tag and it will be fine. So I'm putting that up a little closer so you can see them. So what you'll need, you'll need punches or dies. Um, and by the way she did, she did one of hers with square one of these with a square. I was going to do one with a square, but I'm just going to keep it a circle today for your benefit. So, okay, I have, I'm going to be using Collectinea. So you'll need some punches. You'll need however you want to construct your tag. Um, this one, I did not do the fold over method. That's how I got the back writable. I just glued it at the bottom before I began working on this so that I could punch these holes in the exact same spot and punch two at a time. So whether you clip it, glue it, fold it, you can keep that top together for when you're ready to punch. Okay, so that's what you, punches, glue, 
uh, something for the topper, whatever you want to put in the center, and whatever you want to embellish. And remember, um, I got a bunch of flower stuff here. Got some labels. And do not think that you have to make these um, black and white or with text or with stamping. Hers were all stamped. Got some pretty paper here. You can make yours with um, however you want. Book pages. Where did that other pretty sheet go? I wanted to show you. Yeah, okay. For my first ones, I just used a page from a plant seed catalog. Yeah, there. Isn't that pretty? I might be saving that for the next set in the series. We'll see. Okay. So I'm using Collectinea. Because it just makes a nice um, cop tag that can go in anything. So that's why I'm using that today. And I do believe I have a, sam a sample set. If I do, I'll post the link and you can download the sample set for free with this post. So I began um, this tag punch is two, two and a half, and one and a half. And I'm going to do another one and a half. And this time I just folded it. So it's two and a half, and I think I made it, yeah, ten and a half. So it's two and a half by five and a quarter. This specimen card one is two by ten. So then it folds to two by five. Okay, finally getting started. And I'm just going to... Um, I'm probably going to stand up here and get to a solid, more solid place. Because I don't like punching this punch on glass. Okay, here we go. And hope. And, oh boy, that's, that's hard. And that was another thing I did. I um, please tell me you're gonna go because my first one and my hands are slippery with lotion. My first one, um, the one side was on book page, and you're not gonna go. Why won't you go through two? Brand new. Come on. I got my other punch through two yesterday. And it's stuck inside. Maybe it did go. No, it didn't. Okay. I'm going to have to put these in here and... through one at a time and hope get a clean cut and that they're equal okay kids don't do that at home <laughs> my one my one side was on book page okay Save the day, they're even. 
my one page was on book page yesterday and um, it did fine. Oh, I didn't cut off her face completely, so that's good. Okay, so glad that managed to work. So now I'm going to take a piece of paper here and show you a tip. I'm taking my one inch punch and that is going to be for this hole, but I'm going to punch it out of a piece of white, whatever, scrap paper. Put a tiny dab of glue on there. And then I'm going to center it where I want it. I think it looks nice. I'm going to punch out that hole again. Whoops, the glue dried. Punch out that hole again. Oh, come on. got to stay in place till I get you punched. Okay. It's off. Sorry, I gotta hold this up. Okay. Now tell me, please, you're going to go through twice. And you're going to line it up with the white. And there you go. And before I was thinking, I wanted that for the front. Yeah, I'm keeping that for the front. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one, only this time I'm using my one and a half inch punch. And my other one was off. So I'm going to do the same trick with this one. Two and a half, one, two, half, and about there, maybe down a little. That'll do. I'm going to line it up. Make sure that's straight in there. Okay. There's our two. Now I'm going to take um, that's a that's not a punch. That's a corner rounder. <laughs> take my smaller punch. 
and I'm going to find for this one I'm just going down one and for this one I'm just going down one but it's a different different size second punch this one I know I want some red because I like I like the contrast um, should I look for the same type of flower? Um, I have one with a red circle. Um, don't see one with a similar type flower. Let's see. I have my papers all out of order. Um, where'd that one go with the circle? Okay, I think we'll go back to first choice. And oh, by the way, you're going to need two. So, um, I'm going to punch. This one. And... There. No. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to grab a pansy. It's so bright. Okay, then you're going to glue these together so you have a front, something on the front and the back. Gonna be for that one, and then I was thinking how oh, I cut off all my labels and put them away. Um, yeah, I was thinking for this one, I might like some blue. So I hope everyone's doing well, enjoying your summer. We were hot, now we're back to cold. Cool. Although I'm sure a lot of people like that. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people prefer that for spring. Well, I kind of don't want to cut both those stamps, but I have two, so I'm going to do it. I should have just cut both flowers out of there. Duh. for the back and the front. Glue those together. Now if I don't get time for a ton of decoration, I'm pretty sure you can take it from there. And that one's going to go there. Okay. 
Okay. So now I'm just taking wax paper. Get the smaller piece. And I'm just going to lightly tack it in here. And I'm going to fold it over. And then I'm going to lightly tack. Go along the edges. I don't need glue at this point. Just have to get it in there, get it trimmed off. And then I'll do the I'll glue the tag together. Okay. So get some glue that I know will adhere to wax paper. Just going to go lightly around that hole because I don't want it seeping through. And I should have inked and everything. My other tags were all inked up. But I'm not going to waste the time to do that today. Okay, that's all centered. Now I'm just going to, um, that needs, I see a little place where this seems trimmed already. Just going to glue these together. Give it a press. And I'm going to set that aside for a second. Do the other one. And then I'll trim. Okay. I'm going to do the same here. Lightly tack that where I want it. Hold it over. And do the same thing. Okay. She used, of course, she, hers was more specimen. She used a bug. I was going to do a butterfly, but I don't know if I have tiny enough ones to fit in there at the moment without, I'm sure I do somewhere with, that I would have to fussy cut, so. I went with a flower again. And then I'm gonna go over here. Where are we? 35 already? I think we should get done by 40, I hope. Just have to do the top. Okay. And press this one together. I have enough glue 
glue to get out to the end there so I can poke my little holes. Okay. Okay, there's that one. Now the hard part for me is cutting around this tag. I actually had to um, go back at it with some nail file. Actually, this tag is now pretty thick and it's a little off. It's going to need a trim now because I'm a little bit wonky putting that together. Okay, close enough. It can be. We need a trim. Okay. That one was easy. Now, um, which way do I want this to be? Probably like that. Although, yeah, I'm going to put the tab at the, this end. Okay. So, um, let me get me glue on here. <clears throat> so, I took my tiny punch and I just um, found a place to put it where I could make sure I could get it uniform for each side. And that's what I did. Now if I'm going to give you the heads up if you want brads in yours. Put the brads in before you glue the two sides together so your brad back is sandwiched in between. Okay. So that's for that. Now the little tab. I just grabbed some black scraps and I'm going to eyeball this where I have to cut it. Here goes the phone again. I don't know why we're on the do not call register, but if someone knows a hack. And since I don't trust myself, I'm probably going to get the guillotine here. This to be straight. Okay, now I just went. Let me see what this. Okay, this is perfect. I'm not going to have to trim it the other length. But she had a whale tail on her end. I'm making a tab. And uh, this one, I'm using my fancy three corner punch, and I'm going to cut out some book plate corners. And I used craft paper on the other one. If I had time, I would. I might 
emboss that, but I don't, so I'm not. So there's my tab topper. <clears throat> and then, okay, I'm, I'm not going to take the time to decorate. I'm not going to take the time to ink. But I will post the link to her video. Now I think um, those are nice, and I will, who says you have to um, do a specimen whenever you do a haul, you can put whatever you want in there. You could put dried flour, <clears throat> you could put a little type, type, typewriter letter in there. You don't even have to, um, you could just stamp some text on a circle and put that in there. You don't even have to make it see-through. So I hope you like it guys. Um, specimen type. I don't know what I'm going to call this, but I don't want to call it specimen. I'm going to call them window tags. That's what I'm going to call it. You don't have to always be putting your window in the predictable place and you don't always have to be um, using the predictable paper and whatever to make these type of tags and I hope this gives you some idea of what to do with different things to do with the top of your tag rather than um, just punch a hole and stick some ribbon in there or whatever. That was really my main goal of not necessarily a different tag but a different tag top. Okay, have a great week everyone. I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, there will be more coming in the series. I don't know where my other tags are, but there will be more. Yeah, they're right here. <laughs> there will be more in the tag series. I don't know how many episodes it's going to go, but at least one or two more. Okay, thanks for your time. Have a great week. Bye.